Hello everyone and welcome to the new modules that we are going to be doing that have a live component for the next several weeks. We're going to try our best to emulate what you would have received if we had been able to meet in person on the Texas State campus. Unfortunately, due to COVID and the situations that so many people are in, we're very sad that we're not able to do this with you this year, but we have a lot of really exciting things planned for you over the next few weeks, particularly this week where you will be working in groups to talk about some of the things that you've been learning about and come up with your own ideas for curriculum. Just to review the schedule we have coming up this week, July 6th, you will be working within your own small group. So you'll schedule your own Zoom with your small group and do this exercise on design thinking about curriculum. Then the next week, we have a slight change in the schedule I originally gave to you. The dates are the same, but we're going to swap some of the topics. I'll be talking about coding and front-end development on July, the week of July 13th, and we'll have a Zoom, live Zoom on July 17th in the afternoon. Then the following week, Kelly Koffel will take over on data journalism with a live Zoom on July 24th. Dale Blassing Game the following week after that with a live Zoom on July 31st. And then the VR 360 topics with John Zamickley will have a live Zoom actually on Tuesday, August 4th before AEJMC and we'll release that information a few days early so you can take a look at that over the weekend and be ready um, to do the exercises in the live Zoom and have the discussion with him on Tuesday, August 4th. And the final meeting that we'll have will be sort of a graduation, that'll be August 14th and we'll have some guest speakers. We'll have previous PH Digital fellows Amanda Bright and Brooke Oxier joining us. So what we're going to do today is some design thinking and we're going to do the central part, the ideation and talk a little bit about prototyping today. We're going to do design thinking about curriculum. We've really uh, understood the need and we've tried to define it a bit and we're going to ask some questions to come up with ideas for what some elements would be to create a brand new curriculum. So our task is answering this question, how might we develop curriculum with a digital media product focus in mind? And just as an example, uh, a little bit more information about our degree. You've been hearing about this through the entire program. Um, we went through a very similar process two years before it was launched. We did our own design thinking exercise. And since then, in August 2016, when it was launched, we now have 343 students that are enrolled. This was as of fall 2019. 150 plus have graduated with a degree so far, uh, kind of describing this degree as a startup in our program. Um, really understanding what the umbrella of digital needs to be in a media program. And so the way the program works is that they have several core classes that are fairly traditional, intro to mass comm, a writing class, a media law class. They have the class that both Dale and John teach at different times called Fundamentals of Digital and Online Media which is a class that all our students have to take, uh, no matter what their major is in mass comm. And then the required courses are a web design and publishing class, a social media uh, and analytics class, advanced social media and analytics, and the digital media innovation capstone class. And then we have lots of electives and we create more electives over time, things that have to do with coding or data or emerging media like drones and VR, et cetera. So here, here's us a few years ago and doing a similar process where we had all sorts of colorful post-its and we were posting them up on a blackboard in one of our classrooms and combining them and coming up with like our dream degree basically. And lo and behold, after several years and tweaking and proposals and discussions, it finally got approved. So this can happen, um, but you have to start somewhere. So we're gonna try to uh, simulate this process today um, but you'll be doing it virtually and we were in a group of four so you guys are going to be in groups of four working on this. So the way this is going to work is we're going to work on a Google product called Jamboard and it's free like many Google products. If you just go to jamboard.google.com you'll be in there. I'm going to give you the link to your specific board. On my account I have signed, I have established and set up accounts for each group. And so you'll see your names, first names here, um, and then you'll be able to go into it. So for instance, if I was Amanda, and I will send you the link to this specific board. So Amanda will get this link. Here's the specific board. And to be able to answer each question, there is a board 
for each person first. And so what you will do is go through each of these questions. And so for the yellow one, always use a yellow post-it to get started. And you will add a post-it by clicking here. It says sticky note. And so you'll click on it. It'll let you add a new sticky note. You can pick the color that you want and you can answer the question. And you will add as many post-its in this area here under what are the goals of a digital media product curriculum. Give yourself about three minutes and come up with as many post-its as you can. Even if you have to overlap some things and move things halfway off the side, come up with as many things that you can put in this area on the goals of a digital media product curriculum. No judgment, don't overthink it. As many things as you possibly can. Some of them may not be good ideas ultimately, but this is how we brainstorm and get things out uh, in front of us to be able to think about a little bit further later. And so you'll go through the same process. You'll do the second question here. What types of students will you hope to develop? What should they be able to do? And what kind of jobs should they be able to get? So in this area here, as many of those post-its, click sticky note, click the green color for this question, and then type it out and put as many different ones. You're going to have a bunch of different post-its, each with one idea on them for each question. Same thing for the blue one. You will answer the question, what are the elements of this curriculum? Consider traditional and emerging concepts and skills. So they need to know how to write. They need to be really good at certain types of interactive coding. They need to have an understanding of law. They need to have an understanding of digital culture. You know, whatever you think should be the elements of this curriculum, you'll want to post here. Again, sticky note, change color. It's the first three colors that we're using. Type it in for each individual idea that you have. So you'll end up with a whole screen full of post-it notes here, three minutes each. Don't take any longer than that. So this whole exercise, as you're doing it by yourself, should take you 10 or 15 minutes to do. Then when you are working as a group, you will, so let's, let's say I'm Amanda and I had one here. Um, let me do one. Let's say I'm Amanda. What are the goals of a digital media product curriculum? Um, I will say uh, understanding of digital culture. So I'll save this and then I can move that around and put it anywhere I want. These kind of size based on their uh, content that's in them, but you can also size them around and of course move them. Um, you can even turn them if you need to. And so have as many of these in here as you can um, in the three minutes. And then when you get together with your groups, there's a board each for each question. So here's the sort and combine, the goals of digital media product curriculum. So one by one, so let's say I'm Amanda, I will take one by one and I'll say, well, I think understanding um, digital culture is really important. So I'm going to copy this one and then put it on the, the sort and combine board over here and paste it. So this one will be full of all the yellow ones. Each person will go, just pick your top five or six, maybe a few more if you want to. Um, but all the people in the group will end up having all their answers to the goals of the digital media product curriculum on this board. And as you're talking about it one by one with this question, you can start combining and finding the commonalities and grouping them and start really discussing the things that you all found were the same and then some of the things that you found were unique perspectives that people brought. And you'll do this for the second question about the types of students and jobs and then the third question about the elements of the curriculum. And so from here you'll have a whole bunch of ideas, you'll be grouping and combining them. So after you do all the combining here and know what the elements of your digital based product curriculum are um, as a group somebody takes some notes and identify exactly what you want to have in your curriculum and that'll be the basis of the post that you do in slack so write a post that defines you know what are the required courses are there core courses are there classes that uh, everyone in the program has to take is this a unique degree is this a tweaking of an existing degree um, what are the electives that can and should be created and create a brand new degree and post what that degree will be on the Slack channel that is called design curriculum and include a link 
to your board. So the full link to your board up here um, include that. So coming back to this presentation, again, just the role that we'll be doing here, you'll be using the yellow post-its uh, on your own board, individually on your own, to talk about the goals of the digital media product curriculum. You are going to use the green post-its to talk about what type of students you hope to develop, what should they be able to do, and what kinds of jobs should they be able to move into. And then the blue post-its, um, what are the elements of this curriculum? Think in terms of courses or modules, consider traditional and emerging concepts and skills. And then as a group, you'll schedule a time on Zoom where you'll one by one move each item onto the question board that has the corresponding color with it. Um, then you'll combine and you'll organize these things into a curriculum. And I want you also, as you post this onto your Slack, how is this different than the curriculum that you're familiar with right now? What have you proposed here that is unique or provocative? Um, what needs to change and what needs to go in the curriculum that you are used to? What would prevent this from happening? What are the risks if it doesn't? So I want you to discuss this all in the Slack post. Again, include the link to your completed board. And you just have to do one post for the entire group. So just pick a group leader that will be able to post it for you. And I'm fine if you do undergraduate curriculum, um, if you take a specific tact in undergraduate curriculum, or if you would like to create a graduate degree. It's up to you and your group to decide what type of a program you want to create. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you all create on your own this week and we will discuss this at the beginning of the in-person Zoom that we have next week.